Hi, this is Hannah. I wanted to share with you the rest of my Mattel dolls that I found at the thrift store, but bear with me, I don't know the actual dates that they came in. I did try really hard to find out their names and the dates, but yeah. Let's get started. So the first one we have here is Stacy from 2010, and she did come with her original outfit, a shirt and shorts, but I did put it in a giving away bag, so she's wearing this outfit currently until I have time to make her a new one. <laughs> and Stacy here... She did actually have a full fringe before, but her previous owner decided to, you know, cut that off. So I tried giving her some side bangs to make it a little bit less noticeable. And I think I want to redo her face paint because it does look too much like Barbie. And I understand she's Barbie's sister, but yeah. She's so cute. I mean, she even has a flat chest because she's supposed to be really young. Um, yeah. Okay, so her articulation. Her head moves side to side, up and down. Her shoulders move up and down and out, and her upper thighs move also, and her knees bend. So she's pretty cool, and I really like her. She's pretty tall, too. So the next one we have here is a doll from Dual Entertainment. This is either Mary Kate or Ashley, but I think she's Ashley, and she's from 2002, and I also think she is from the spa day doll so yeah um i didn't know who she was at first when i saw her until i looked up the company's name in the back i guess it's supposed to have been worked with mattel back in the day but yeah i was really surprised that she was a mary kate or ashley doll because yeah i mean crazy <laughs> but she's really pretty and i'm really happy she's added to the collection and when i really look at her she does look a lot like Mary Kate or Ashley, you know? So yeah, she has very beautiful soft hair. And since she's a spa day doll, I think her um, her nails and her makeup darkens a little bit when you put cold water. I tried it. It, it works, you know? A little bit. <laughs> but yeah, and so she came naked. So she was not wearing this. I just made this like really quickly. It looks something like she would wear, maybe. <laughs> okay, so her head moves up and down, side to side. Her shoulders move in and out and up and down. And then her upper thighs move. And then her knees click. So yeah, she's like skipper size. She's very, she's very pretty. I like her. So the next one we have here is who I believe is a 1987 skipper doll. And she's so adorable. Um... I don't think she was from 1987. I think she's from sometime in the 90s. But, yeah. Okay, so... I love her big animated eyes. They're so precious and innocent. Okay, her hair. Her hair was crazy. I literally shampooed it so many times and conditioned it. And then I realized I never did try the hot water method on her. And I'm like, she's a Mattel doll. It will work most likely really well on her. And I tried it. Oh my gosh. Her hair went from being that fabulous 80s frizzy textured hairstyle to completely movable strain and it doesn't fall out. So that is amazing. Um, yeah, and she had a fringe before, but I kept brushing it back because I was, it looked really bad whenever it was, it was really frizzy. So yeah, but um, so I probably did something wrong to the thatching now. <laughs> but she's really pretty and she also arrived naked, but I just made her this simple dress no so dressed it's ridiculously easy but yeah i'm so happy she's added to the doll family and the only other skipper doll we have is my mom's and she just flashed you wow um my mom's skipper doll but i don't know what happened to the body but she's in a barbie's body so yeah so her head moves side to side up and down her arms move out and up and down and her upper thighs move of course and her knees bend so she is a fabulous doll, and I'm so happy she's added to the family, and I love her flat feet. Yeah. All right. So the next doll we have here is, I think she's from 1993, maybe? Um, she is really pretty. Again, her hair worked wonderful with the boil rinse method, or the hot water method, because I do not boil water to put on their head <laughs> but yeah I just microwave it but anyway her hair is so movable and soft now um yeah it worked probably the best out of all my dolls actually yeah probably the best her and Skipper 
it was the best. Um, but she, I don't know if you can tell, she has amazing bone structure. Can you see that? It's amazing, and she's so pretty. Um, she is wearing a live doll shirt and pants that do not even fit her. Um, but yeah, she is so pretty, and I love her so much. Um, so her head moves side to side, up and down, and her arms move the shoulder and bend at the elbow, and then her side moves, and also her upper thigh moves, her knees, and she has the kind of legs that pop back in and out. Um, they're like a hard plastic, but they're not as bad as, have you ever, um, had the Mattel Flynn ride at all? Not that bad. I keep that tall away because I could not stand his legs, and also his face paint didn't exactly, I didn't love it, so I'm like, eh, somebody else would appreciate him, but yeah, so she's a very gorgeous doll. All right. The next doll and last one we have here is, who I believe is from 1987, but most likely she's from the late 90s. Um, she is Generation Girls Nichelle. And look at this fabulous hair. I love it so much. Can you see it? It is so curly. And I would love to have this kind of hair instead of the super straight, awkward hair that I have right now. But yeah, she's really pretty. Um, I love her hair. Her face is very much normal, I think. She doesn't have the awesome bone structure from the previous doll that I just showed you, but she is still very pretty. But I absolutely love this hair. I mean, like, this is, this is completely gorgeous. Um, yeah. So, her hair does not feel like hair. It feels like, or synthetic hair. It feels like some kind of thread or something. Some kind of cotton material. I don't know. Um, but yeah, she's really pretty. Um, so, she did not come with her original outfit also. I just made her the simple outfit. Her head moves side to side, up and down. I think. <laughs> okay. And then her shoulders move, her elbows move, and also her side moves, her upper thighs move, and then this one has the plastic legs, so they click. Yeah, but she's fabulous. So, yeah. Thank you very much for viewing, and let me know which one was your favorite. Bye!